All right, guys, here we are. It's all about uh, making sweet savory today. We're gonna make a French toast. Usually French toast, you know what it looks like. It's got cinnamon, it's got this nice sweet custard. It's got some maple syrup. It probably has some kind of fruits, maybe some blueberries, maybe some bananas. Who knows what it has? Not today, we're making a savory French toast. Our French toast is gonna have some bacon, some Gruyere cheese, we're gonna have some mustard, some creme fraiche, uh, some mustard greens, very, very savory but um, still an amazing dish of French toast. We're gonna start by cooking some uh, hickory smoked bacon. Bacon is good for brunch. I know you already knew that, but I'm just gonna let you know it again. Gotta, gotta have some bacon. It smells good in here already. That smokiness is incredible. Now, what we're gonna do is actually let the bacon cook and we'll keep the bacon fat and we'll cook some other things in the bacon fat. So we're gonna let that go. While the bacon is cooking, we're gonna put together sort of like our condiment. This is actually gonna be creme fraiche, Dijon mustard, and um, a little bit of hot sauce. Well, you get a little creaminess there, a little bit of spiciness, two kinds of spiciness, from the mustard and from the hot sauce. And this is gonna be our condiment for our French toast. All right, so now we're gonna make the custard that we're gonna actually soak the bread in. So it's gonna be um, three eggs and an egg yolk. The extra yolk is for a little richness. Very rich custard for this French toast, savory or not. And then some half and half. Grated Parmesan Reggiano, good quality cheese. And this is gonna give a little saltiness to the, uh, to the French toast. But also, it's gonna actually help to uh, make the bread golden brown when we're, we're actually cooking it in the pan. Let's flip our bacon. Nice and crispy. I think bacon just always has to be crispy. All right, so we have our condiment, our creme fraiche, our Dijon mustard. This is our custard for our French toast. And we're gonna get our bacon out of the pan. We're gonna keep that beautiful bacon fat. Let's get a red onion going. And we're gonna cook the red onions with some mustard greens. Mustard greens, that's what they taste like. They taste like mustard. They do have that sort of mustardy flavor. Um, they're a little bit hearty. And, um, you know, I think of them as really good with things that are smoky, like bacon, for instance, and things that are rich, like some eggs. So I think the mustard greens are gonna be a really nice foil for this savory dish, this savory French toast. So I'm gonna toss the red onions right into the bacon fat. Here are the mustard greens. And they're, you know, they're very leafy. So I'm just gonna drop them in here. And they should just, they should really just kind of wilt. You can think about um, most of the greens is like kale with a mustard flavor. That's sort of the texture of what mustard greens are. Just a splash of cider vinegar. Well, we want a little acidity in here to go with the mustard and the onion. Just gonna wilt them down. Just a little splash of honey there. Where there's mustard, there must be honey. We have our mustard greens and red onions, cooked in our bacon fat with a cider vinegar. All right, so now we have all of our components ready to go. Except, of course, for our bread. So I have a pan de mie, which is basically a, uh, a fancy French phrase for good quality white bread. We're gonna start by smearing a little bit of Dijon mustard and um, creme fraiche and the hot sauce mixture to give the bread a little bit of moisture and also flavor, for sure. And then a couple of pieces of cheese, some Gruyere cheese, it's a Swiss cheese. And I like putting it on both sides so that it melts on both sides and then as it melts, it kind of holds all the other ingredients in the middle together. And then some crispy bacon. And you can let the bacon sort of fall out the end a little bit. Nobody will be complaining about that. Then we have our mustard greens with our red onions and a little bit of cider vinegar. 
And if you notice, I'm actually going all the way to the edges, so it's not just in the middle. And we're gonna close this bad boy up. Just press it down a little bit, and then we're gonna soak it for about 30 seconds on each side so that the custard actually goes you know, through the bread itself. All right, so we're gonna turn this over and let the other side soak. And don't forget, we also have the Parmesan cheese running through the custard so the cheese, while it cooks, will get a little bit gratin, it will brown a little bit on the outside. That's what we want. So we're gonna take a little canola oil and just a little bit of butter. And we're gonna put our sandwich, our French toast, right in there. So you know, here's the key. You want the custard to cook inside the bread. And at the same time, you want all the other ingredients to kind of warm through. They're all cooked already, but we just need the cheese to melt a little bit. I can actually smell it. Can you smell the Parmesan cheese there? I know you can. You can smell the Parmesan cheese. It's starting to get nice and crusty on, on, the, uh, on the bottom side there. So you're gonna be very happy with this. Let's say we go out to brunch. There's four people at the table. You know, I like to order usually maybe like a savory egg dish for my main course, but I always want something sweet on the table. And I always say like the table's hungry too, so let's feed the table. So I'll order some sort of waffle or pancake or French toast dish usually, and we just put it in the middle of the table and everybody gets a fork and gets a little bit of that sweetness. And I think that's a good way to go. I'm gonna flip this over, beautiful. Gorgeous. Making the savory French toast, um, you have to pay attention to every single component if you want to make it great. Mmm, amazing. Let's give it a taste. Really strong, robust flavors. Smoked bacon, that sort of spicy mustard green. And then uh, the Gruyere cheese, just a little sharp but melts really, really nicely. Kind of brings it all together. I'm loving the Parmesan cheese in the custard because it just gave the bread a really amazing crust and a beautiful color, just golden brown.